guys, Bryce here again, Calgary Barbell, The Strength Edge. Uh, week three of my Road to Worlds videos here. Um, so starting with a little bit of a recap of the week. Monday squats went not so well initially. I hit my first, or sorry, my heavy single. Um, it was 285 kilograms, 628 pounds. <laughs> And it was a little misgrooved, a little slow in the bottom. Um, got a little disconnected, lost my upper back. Uh, kind of went against what I've been practicing to do, so I wasn't able to maintain that technique with heavier weight, which is, was a little disappointing. Monday afternoon, I pulled my heavy deadlift single. That was 335 kilograms, or 739 pounds. And that was an eight. That was nice and fast, it was nice and smooth, it felt great. Uh, the sumo deadlift's been treating me really, really well. I've been switched over to sumo for about eight weeks and I will definitely be pulling sumo at Worlds. So with that moving so well, um, that puts me on path to potentially take a shot at the world record uh, in my class. Uh, I held the world record once before. I pulled 756 pounds at uh, North Americans, and then Eli Burks came along and pulled 799 pounds, so he just obliterated my record and blew me out of the water. Uh, and I figured, you know, it'd be a couple of years before I'd be back in that range and able to, you know, take a stab at winning that back for Canada. But with the way that sumo's been going for me lately, uh, I'm really excited, uh, and everything's been moving great. I've been PRing every single week. All my accessory deadlifts feel great. Everything's been moving fast and tight and smooth and my knees are feeling better, my hips are feeling better, it's feeling like I'm finally catching my groove with sumo. Um, so I will definitely be pulling sumo at Worlds and hopefully be taking a shot at uh, maybe an 800 pound deadlift, taking that record back, who knows. Today's Thursday so I got one more day left this week. But uh, today went pretty well, pulled against the bands, uh, did my competition single on my bench, 165 kilograms, which is 363 pounds. Yes, get up. Nice. That's two and a half kilos shy of my competition best. And uh, it moved maybe a little slower than an eight, I'd call it an eight and a half, maybe a nine. I got a couple lifters here in the gym who see other lifters, very far ahead of them. I know I've experienced myself, or I've experienced it myself. You know, seeing Bryce Lewis take that world record total, uh, seeing Stephen Manuel squat lately, uh, seeing Eli Burks' deadlifts. Like, it's, it's hard to see other people doing so well and feel like you're behind them. Um, but I think an important part of a successful psychology for a power lifter is to understand that there's no point in stressing about what other people are doing because you have no control over that. It's good to monitor other people's progress, especially if you're competitive in the sport and you want to be in that upper echelon of lifters. It's good to pay attention, but at the same time you can't beat yourself up because you're not there. You don't have any control over that, you're going to progress at the rate that you're going to progress at. If anything, you can take that and use that as motivation. Think about different ways you can get your edge back. So, you know, maybe you've been screwing up your nutrition. Maybe you haven't been resting as well. Maybe you've been out drinking all weekend because it was your girlfriend's birthday month. Um, but whatever it is, you can do better. You can take that and use that as motivation as opposed to using that to beat yourself up and say, shit, I'm not there yet. Hey guys, Bryce here again at Calgary Barbell, the Strength Edge. 